good, Paul Scurston. Coogan Cassius, no one will ever know what that first question was. Coogan Cassius, Eiffel TV, MTK Global. I'm joined by Conrad Cummings here in Astley. How are you? I've just stopped you from training, haven't I? I don't, I don't like that. I'm very focused on training. It's been very on it, but uh, yeah, feeling good. Uh, looking forward to a good win, good win last week. Lesser opponent, but it's got the round. Well, stopped in the second round, KO. Luke Keeler next. Absolutely. So, yeah, last week's performance, just to kind of get you ticking over ahead of April 21st. Yeah, headline the Dabnish last week. Simple enough. Just pack stuff we're working in the gym. First, second round, KO. Put it around a few times. Good night. Uh, all those uppers. Looking forward to April 21st. Absolutely. Um, yeah, a great fight for the undercard of uh, Frampton Denaire between you and Luke Keeler. We know there's a couple of other tasty fights on there as well but this is definitely one of them as well uh, you and Keeler yeah Keeler doesn't do bad fights and nor do I so uh, that only can equal the one thing a good fight I'm sure he's going to train hard and he's confident going to win but there's only one winner <laughs> um, as boring as this question is how has camp gone uh, we're about two months away from the fight now go get it just sort of continuing on now. I took a couple of days off after that last fight didn't need much of a break, so we're just sort of continuing on. I've been in camp sort of since the start of the January, sort of the year. Been great, uh, mentally and physically. Uh, sort of my, it's my time to come out, come up and show what I'm made of. So uh, I'm looking forward to April. I'm uh, going to be ready for a hard fight, but uh, excited. How confident you can stop Keela? Uh, confident, yeah. I don't, I don't want to say that. I'm going to be ready for 10 rounds, but uh, Mr. Emmy. <laughs> self explanatory <laughs> Come on, let me ask your opinion from uh, George Groves' uh, his win over Chris Eubank Jr. over the weekend. I'm assuming you watched it. What did you make of it? I thought George uh, fought fantastic. Uh, you know, he stuck to his boxing, he kept him at distance, used his skills. Uh, when Groves or Eubank are close, he nullified him, he tied him up. Very clever tactics from himself. Uh, very impressed. Uh, well done. Uh, He's a big lump, he's a big lump, he, uh, Groves, and I think Eubank struggled with the size, size difference, but uh, I thought Groves was superb, well done. I think he'll take a good man to beat him. Definitely. We know Callum Smith's now got a change of opponent because Jurgen Brain is not well, so he fights this Saturday, but that's the final we'd want to see between Smith and Groves, surely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's good. Two English lads, uh, two fantastic fighters, uh, world class, and um, the best moment, uh, I'm back Groves. <laughs> Alright, no problem. I'm going to let you get back to your training because I know you're very dedicated today. Have you got anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, any female followers want to follow me? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm in gears now, so we can't get We've got a very small percentage of women that watch <laughs> IFL TV. You and the Me and Coogan. Me, me and Coogan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Alright, comrade, thanks for your time. And uh, like I said, we'll let you crack on and we'll catch up with you ahead of April 21st. Good on. Good Top good. man.